In this tutorial we're going to be talking about the optimal use of scarce resources. So let's look at an example like Walmart. Everyone knows Walmart. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally I'm not a big fan, but hey, you get some pretty cheap items there. Um, anyways, we have a shelf. Walmart has tons of these with tons of different widgets that they sell. They have a lot of shelf space and to decide what kind of products they are going to use and sell it usually is determined based on which yields or which products uh, yield uh, the greatest amount of contribution margin but in most cases or I would say 99% of cases there is a limiting factor like for instance, shelf space, because all physical stores eventually run out of space, and you have to make decisions of which items you want to keep or drop from your product lines. Um, sometimes you have, uh, actually I should say time instead of hours, a certain amount of time to sell products, uh, maybe a limiting factor, maybe expenses from uh, choosing a certain product. Um, in our example, we're actually going to go with time as a limiting factor and we'll see that when we have to decide based on a limiting factor we want to look for the product that yields the greatest contribution margin per unit of limiting factor. Okay, perfect. And I'm just going to summarize this with my definition. So like I said, when we uh, decide which product to sell, when we have a limiting factor in place, which is going to be time in this case, um, it depends on the contribution that yields the most per each unit of limiting factor. Okay, what do I mean by this? Well, we have essentially we're in the electronics part of Walmart and they sell regular TVs and they sell jumbo TVs. The regular TVs are 400 or I should say that the sales price of each are 400 and 600 respectively. The costs are 200 and 300 for regular and jumbo and their contribution margins are 200 and 300 as well. So we have 1000 hours to push as much product out the door as possible. It is essentially a fire sale at Walmart and let's draw some flames it's a fire sale yes so we have 1000 hours and let's say the jumbo televisions we can sell one unit every hour while for the regular TVs we can sell two units an hour I should get rid of that I'm not sure why I put a slash here two units every hour which means that if we're producing two units an hour. This means that um, it takes us 0 0.5 hours to create each unit and one hour for the jumbo TVs. Now, how many units are we, are we going to be able to produce? Well, 1,000 hours times, uh, or 1,000 divided by the 0 0.5 hours, which is essentially how many it take or how long it takes to produce each unit. We're going to end up with 2,000 products of the regular. That's just 1,000 divided by 0 0.5. While to find out how many units of the jumbo we can make, we can produce 1,000 divided by 1, which would be 1,000 products of the jumbo. So it's either 2,000 products of the regular or 1,000 of the jumbo. If we create 2,000 products and sell those, we're going to have a contribution margin of 400,000 while the jumbo product line would be would be 300,000. You just get that from multiplying 1,000 times 300 and 2,000 times 200. So this shows us that we should definitely go with the uh, the regular TV product line because we are making more contribution margin per each unit of limiting factor in the case of the regular TV because if we were to have just one hour, in one hour 
we can have $400 of contribution margin in the case of the regular product line because if we're selling two units an hour and we're getting $200 of contribution margin every hour or for every product I should say that means that we'll have $400 of contribution margin an hour which is just two units times the contribution margin while for one hour of just the jumbo line it would be $300 which is one unit times the contribution margin and you always go with the one that yields the greatest amount of contribution margin based on the limiting factor. Alright, hopefully you got that. I think it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go start working on the budget tutorial. See you guys in the next one.